Hey, Eric. Yes. This is Eric the Midget. This is your last appearance on the show. Why is that? Because speaking of Star Jones, I, I, I intercepted a, an email that Eric sent to Star Jones. He wants her to legally represent him so he can sue me. What? Yeah. So what are you uh, calling for? Because he's insane. What? what? How did you get that? I get everything, dude. How did you get that? So it's true. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so get off our airways. What do you want? First of all, you got to be dumb as a wall. You keep calling me. How are we harassing you? We don't call you. And he's calling today. He's pissed. He was got a prank. A high pitch. Eric called him to prank him. Uh huh. But he gave permission for it to be played on the air. You're you're out of your mind, Eric. No, I. And Eric, no one knows who you are. So he's he wants to assume me because we call him Eric the Midget, but no one knows who he is. Yeah, you could go out in the street. Nobody calls you that when you're rolling around. We don't even know if you're a six foot five guy who can who walks. I'm just going by based on what you told me. You were a midget. No, I I never referred to myself as a midget. Well, you told me you're a little person. I yes. called you a midget. That's what we call them. But how can you sue someone if no one knows who you are? And you how call, have you been harmed? And you call into a radio show. Hello, I'm here. So you're mad. So, why, so, you, so you're busy bad mouth. I'm giving you money and all this other stuff, and then you bad mouth me to everyone. And you're, and you're writing a Star Jones. I wrote it to Access Hollywood that was going to be going on to uh, the View. What? Nancy O'Dell was appearing on the View. And you wrote I, that you want to sue us? Yes. So why are you calling us today? And for the whole thing with the uh, permission. Permission to sue us? No, 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 no. The permission about the prank call. I gave Richard Christie the permission. And after I had left the messages saying that I did not want the. Uh, You're insane. Call. You're insane. Uh, stop calling us. Leave you us just, alone. You just want attention, man. Remember a few weeks ago you said you weren't going to call anymore, yet you've not stopped calling? I'm going to sue you for harassment. No. Oh, you don't like that, huh? And guess who we're going to call? Access Hollywood. Perry Mason. Perry Mason. <laughs> <laughs> and then he also wrote to uh, Michael Powell from the FCC. Oh, oh all our arch enemies. You're trying You're to align yourself. You're a real wonderful guy, aren't you? I'm forming an alliance. So we're done with you. So you are the evil character we portrayed you to be. You are the bad. you got to read his letter to Star Trek. He goes, Dear Miss Jones, you're a lawyer. Howard Stern says I'm an evil midget. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not evil and I'm not a midget. <laughs> so sue him. <laughs> I don't know what you are, but you might be insane. Eric, if you were famous, maybe oh. she'd write you back. Yeah, you weren't on the red carpet last night, were you? <laughs> so he's not interested. Oh. All right, here's High Pitch Eric. This is your last time. I'm done with you unless I get an apology. Where's my apology? I'm sorry. Are you sincere? Yes. Say, say Howard, I'm never writing another person again about suing you. Howard, I'm never writing another person again about suing you. Mm. That's nice. Sheesh. I can't believe that. Thank you, Eric. Well, I, maybe I'll drop my lawsuit if you drop yours. <laughs> After all even, we've done. I didn't even get it started. <laughs> if you're lucky, maybe next year at the red carpet, Star will wear you around her neck. <laughs> How much? <laughs> <laughs> it's a midget. This is a summer midget? It's a summer midget. <laughs> I'm wearing a midget. <laughs> What's that on your shoulders? A midget. It's a summer midget. <laughs> I ate him. <laughs> and now I'm wearing his skin. All right, here is High Pitch Eric calling Eric the Midget. Here we go, Eric. Hello. Hello, hello. High Pitch, what do you want? Listen, I heard you on the show today. I want to help you change your name. How about Frank the Midget? That doesn't make any sense. Are you listening to me, you little <laughs> Hi, There's only one room for Eric on the show, and that's me. Hi, Pitch. Get a brain. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Eric. 
I'm sorry, okay? Yes. I don't want this to get out of hand. I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. And I will sue you. For what? <laughs> For having my name. No. <laughs> Could you put your pants down? <laughs> Grab your package for me. <laughs> no. Please. I won't eat you if you do. How big are your balls? I pitch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this gets funnier. Hello. Hey, Eric, listen, I'm sorry. I'm only joking with you. Let's talk about the football pool. Yeah. Okay. What are you wearing? <laughs> Leave me alone. I bet your little hand makes my look huge. I pitch. Leave me. Speak up, you little f <laughs> Sorry, don't hang up. Don't hang up. I'm only kidding. I'm only joking. Talk dirty to me, please. Hell no. Please. I'll, no. Give, you, I'll, I'll give you five bucks. <laughs> Just say I love big Hell <sighs> no. I'll give you ten dollars. I pitch. Unlike you, I don't have a f gay bone in my body. So leave me the f alone, you fat, annoying ass. <laughs> I'm going to drop your pants and spit on it. Oh, oh yeah! Oh. Wah, 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 wah. Hi, Pitch. Listen to me carefully. I love the taste of midget balls. Oh. Hi, Pitch. <laughs> and how big is your... I am not answering that. I'm small, too, in the pants. Can we talk about this? No. <laughs> Great, huh? Wow. <laughs> That's awesome. That's like your greatest performance ever, Eric. I hate you, high pitch. I love you. We got to take that. You're fat, annoying. Hey, uh, yeah, that was great when you yelled back at him, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> Here's a good one. Hello. Hello. This is Kelly Clarkson. Is this Eric the Midget? <laughs> This is not Kelly Clarkson. This is more than likely high pitch, isn't it? No. Who's high pitch? This is Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> I think you're very cute. High pitch, give it up. I know it's you. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime. <laughs> Hello? Hey, how are you? It's KC. Okay. Hey, you went in on the football pool. Nice. Hey, Eric, what's up with the Oakland A's this weekend? They won yesterday. How many touchdowns did the A's make? They won. No, they're not. Come on, it's KC here. Nice. How many of those midget fingers can you fit in my... None, because I wouldn't try. Come on, I got a lollipop for you. I don't give a... I got taffies for you, too. <laughs> Speak up, you <laughs> Ewok. Hey, listen, you've been a good sport. Let me put Gary on the phone. Okay. Uh, can, can you hold on? Yes. Hello, hello, this is Gary Delabate. <laughs> no, it's not. I can tell it's Eric. Or high pitch Eric. It's Gary. How are you? It's high pitch. It's I can tell the damn thing. Hi. Hi, this, hi, it's Gary Delabate. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm here eating chocolate. Let's talk. Hi, Pitch. I can tell it's you. My voice sounds a little different because I have a mask on. <laughs> I have a wildest mask on. That ma mask makes you sound exactly like high Pitch. This is the real deal, okay? Whatever. Okay, good. Let me ask you this. What are you wearing? <laughs> I'm not answering that question. Hey, this is Gary now. <laughs> I highly doubt Gary Delaponte would be asking me that question. Drop your pants. <laughs> Let's get down to business. <laughs> no, I'm not. I pitch. I'm not a moron. Okay. You try to pass yourself off as Gary. Come on. I could tell people's voices. Okay. That's why I don't know. Do you know who it is? It's high pitch. No, it's Artie Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for some dirty deeds? <laughs> Eric, it's Artie. Come on. No, it's not. Let's drink some Jack and Waters. 
high pitch, knock it off. Can you get that through your head? Goodbye. Mm. Good stuff, Eric. That's great, man. What, one mistake that uh, high pitch made that I really keyed me that it was him and not Artie was he was saying that he was drinking Jack and wine. And when I so I hear <laughs> that's what uh, tipped you off. <laughs> Is that it? Well, the the voice too, but yeah. I mean, yeah, the voice. He Jack, he says Jack and wine instead of Jack and water, which I've heard Artie say over and over again. Right. He couldn't fool me. You're not Artie. But whoever was playing KC, given the fact that KC used to be a high school quarterback from what I've heard on the show, I think he could tell the difference between football and baseball. You could be the assistant director of Homeland Security with that <laughs> uncanny ability to detect phony phone calls. That was excellent. We need you spotting terrorists at the airport. Well, Eric, it's been nice knowing you. I mean... I don't know, man. You're, you're, uh, you, we can't fl- play with you anymore. You're, you're going to be a bad boy. You can't be a litigious midget. Right. That ain't right. You know what I mean? I mean, we love you. I'm intercepting your emails. Your henchman intercepted my email. The only person I could figure that would have given you them is Zoar. I don't know why he did that. Because he wants us to know what you're up to, man. Zolar's a friend of the show. You're not. Well. You're an enemy of the show. You call in, you enjoy the show, you're you part of the show. You take our prizes. And then, and then right away you're writing Star Jones to represent you in a legal case. You're even begging to be a part of the football pool. It's hard to believe that Why Zolar... While you want to sue us. It's hard to believe that Zolar would deceive you. <laughs> <laughs> you're evil. Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, who would do such a thing? An evil person? No, just don't want it gets tired of being made fun of. Well, then don't call in. Yeah, you don't have to call us. Your, your your logic is bizarre. We never mention you until you call. You call in. Last Tuesday, I was mentioned on the air, and I didn't even call in at all that day. Yeah. How is that? <laughs> You're a midget with a weird voice calling the Howard Stern Show. What do you think's going to happen? <laughs> Yeah, there's no secret here. I mean, what judge is going to... We'll throw this out of court in a second. Why waste the court's time? Yes, Matt. What's up, man? Hey. Dude, this is fun. Hello, Eric. <laughs> this, is, this is funny as hell, dude. I hate High Pitch Eric. I think he's the worst person. I just can't stand the dude. This is funny as hell, bro. I just, <laughs> I just turned the radio on, man. I can't stop laughing. You gotta play. You gotta play that one again where he's like, arr, 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 arr. <laughs> that is funny as hell, dude. Eric, Eric, you can't come on, brother, man. You calling? You calling the best show in the universe? You can't expect them not to to play this stuff. This is funny as hell, bro. Keep it going, brother. All right, there you go, Eric. You're getting some fans. Eric, they love you. You're gonna lose all this. You're gonna lose oh. all you. Your attention now, because I'm wise to you. I figured you out. You're out to get the show. I'll sue. I'm hoping not to. Hoping? What do you mean, hoping not to? What? What? All you have to do is not do it. Well, no, I, I won't do that. I meant I'm hoping not to lose all this. I was trying to respond to something that was said before you said that. I was going to do the show. Yeah. How do we know when you're going to go crazy again and, and start writing Star Jones? Yeah, you're nuts. <laughs> no. You're nuts. You call in. You you bother me. You want to be on the air, and then you want to sue me for putting you on the air. This is crazy. You're insane. No, the only reason why I said that is because, number one... I'm not evil, and number two, I'm not... We don't know what you are. Anyone who We're calls in... We're creating something so that audiences can identify you. Yeah, you could look like Margus Schenkenberg for all we know. We don't know you. <laughs> all right, I gotta go. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. It was nice knowing you. Nice knowing you. Your only friends, you turn on them. I see Kelly Clarkson putting you on. She ain't calling you. 
She's not calling you anything. Actually, maybe that was her. Was that her who called you? <laughs> Are you on the bulletin board? I was for <clears throat> a while. And what happened? Then what? Uh, last Monday, for some reason, and I wrote a, uh, a thread in the, the general discussion board, and then like a couple hours later, I was kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> and, give, Eric yeah. an, give Eric an orange name. Wait a minute. What did he write? What was his thread? <laughs> what was your thread? My thread was uh, titled, I'm the real Eric the Midget. <laughs> <laughs> Why would they throw you out for that? Doorknob should be lower. I know they're trying to clean up the bulletin board somewhat so people can write me, but I don't I don't know why they would get rid of you for that. Howard. Yeah. Do you know what his name is on the bulletin board? What? Kelly's biggest fan. Oh. Oh. That's real gay, Eric. How about world's biggest fag? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want an orange name? Yeah. Yes. He wants, he wants everything. He wants everything. Kelly's want it all. I want an orange name. <laughs> Immediately. Would you like Eric the Evil Midget as your orange name? <laughs> no. <laughs> Eric the Kelly Loving Fruit. <laughs> what do you no. want for your orange name? Eric the Midget. Because that's how people no. know you. All right. Thor, Thor and I came up with the nickname uh, Eric Wheels Lynch. What? We Wheels as in, you know, like I'm in a wheelchair. Eric Wheels? <laughs> Eric Wheels? How about Eric the Litigious Dwarf? <laughs> <laughs> yes, Michael. Please, please play Eric as hypothetic as KC. That's hilarious. <laughs> that, that, that is That's hilarious. hilarious. That's the funniest impression I've ever heard of. Him. I hate Eric. I hate high pitch, but he did great. Yeah. Love it. Nice. How about Legal Smeagol? <laughs> How about Fairy Mason? Let's <laughs> oh. be Eric the Midget. All right. As long as the... I guess as long as the word evil is not put in there. All right. All right. All right. I'll get you an orange name. I'll get it for you today. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> It's the bat from wrestling. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words.